Miss Anya, this is your grandma. I'm going to read you a story about a little bear today. So Love Bug Productions is ready to go. Nibbler. Did I say bear? I meant rabbit. Young Nibbler Rabbit is not a baby anymore. He was big enough to clean his sprouting whiskers. He was old enough to brush out his far out ears. But Nibbler was afraid to leave the warm fur-lined nest where he was born deep among the roots of the oak tree. You should see, you, sh you should be running races with the other rabbits, said his mother. You should go out into the world and do things. You should get out of this nest. But Nibbler would not budge. If I ran a race, he said, I would fall tail over whiskers. If I went out into the world, the bad old fox might catch me and eat me. Nibbler's mother brought him flower petals to nibble on and sometimes dewy clover and sweet wild strawberries. She couldn't let him starve. Pretty soft for Nibbler, says the other rabbits, but they really didn't want to be like him. From his warm fur-lined nest, Nibbler could hear the pant pattering paws of the other little rabbits as they played overhead chasing round and round the tree trunks, dodging in and out among the daisies, jumping over round molehills with their strong hind legs. When the mean old fox drew near, Nibbler heard their strong feet go thump, thump, thump on the ground to warn all the other rabbits. This is where you belong, said Nibbler's mother, up in the world with the other little rabbits playing games, living life, braving dangers. The very thought made Nibbler feel weak and dizzy. Oh no, I'm no hero, he said, hiding his head in his mother's fur. Braving dangers is not for me, he said. No, sir, we. Nibbler wanted to be brave like all the other rabbits, but just one peek out of his burrow made his poor little nose twitch and tremble. Every day Nibbler grew bigger and older. Still, he wouldn't get out of his nest for anything. So one morning his mother took him by the paw and pulled him out. She pulled him up the long, dark tunnel beneath the oak tree, up into the world to find his very own breakfast. Please take me back to my nest, begged Nibbler. But his mother was firm. We are going to find out how other animals learn to do things, she said. Come along, Nibbler. On the blue ruffled lake, Mother Duck swam proudly with her three little ducklings trailing along behind her. We'll be reading the rest of this story in just a minute.